Good afternoon, Todd Thornton here from Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm kind of excited to show you a pretty rare bird uh, that we, we don't get very often. This is a 2019 Airstream Atlas Tommy Bahama edition. Um, the wait time I've currently heard is about a year, year and a half to order one of these brand new. So this is a great opportunity to pick up a pre-owned one. Um, it's in very good shape with decent miles. It's got about 49 or 48,000 miles on it. Um, this is uh, 2019 on a 2018 chassis with the Mercedes-Benz V6 188 horsepower motor with all the safety assurance packages uh, through Mercedes. So the lane assist, collision avoidance, adaptive cruise control, you name it, it's got it. We'll take a quick look around the coach and then we'll go inside. Um, like I said, we just got this one in, so it's not in perfect shape yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to get it through the shop and uh, get it ready for its new owner. As you can see, all the atlases are, have drawers or the exterior compartments do not have latches, do not have locks. It is all electronically controlled by your key fob. So once you shut the door, it's a very clean line and you can lock it with your key fob. You don't have any of those exterior locks uh, in your way. You got the Durobright wheels that are always gonna look good. In here, you're gonna have your, all of them come with a built-in macerator. You got your propane fill exterior shower, your power, and then obviously you can run your cable. Um, if you're hooked up at a park, you can run the cable right here down through there. Again, very clean lines on this. All the way through. It's got a 5,000 pound tow capacity. Plenty of towing for a Jeep, car, boat, anything you want to tow back here with a seven-way plug. Right here, you've got an exterior compartment that actually goes way up in there so you could actually fit a set of golf clubs or two in there. As long as you don't have a tour bag or one of those great big bags. You see you got the Tommy Bahama Edition electron or electric awning up here with a wind sensor and LED strips that go length, the length of the awning. What's nice about that, there are no legs. There's nothing to get in your way at your campsite. There's no arms that extend down to the side of the coach. If it were to start getting windy, it will automatically retract to prevent it from getting uh, damaged by the wind. Here's some more storage right here. Now, none of these little Class C's, the Navi on the Atlas, none of them have a ton of storage outside, uh, but they, it's adequate. They make, make do with what they can. Got an electric step. I've got it turned off right now, but if you close this door when the step is on, that step will go in for the very clean line again. Come on in. While we're going in, we got a nice screen door right here. And you got some night shades that you can pull down right here. When you first come in, the Tommy Bahama Edition is uh, has a decor. It's very similar to the the regular Atlas, but the Tommy Bahama Edition has different decor on the the back. The leather is not black; it's kind of a tan. All your wall boards are um, actual wood. So you got a lot of different, uh, you got the wood, the wood blinds instead of the, um, the cloth ones that are in the, the regular edition. So just the attention to detail is quite a bit, quite a bit more. This is the Murphy style bed, which most of them are going to. And we'll show you that here in a second, but two of these, um, two of these things right here make into, these seats make into our recliners, electric recliners right here. You can watch your TV. There's also two seat belts back here for guests. To make it into a Murphy bed, you take off the 
armrest on each side. And over here, you have a button that's going to lay this down. Over here, you got your buttons, your USB ports, 110 outlet. This is going to lay down. And then you're going to release this. And you can see very easily how it makes into a. If I remember correctly, this is a 70, 72 by 72 bed or 79 by 79 bed. So pretty good size with the. They're very comfortable because of these, these things. Behind here, you've got individual reading lights with USB ports. Again, wood blinds, screen, uh, screens for your windows, uh, and the windows go out like this, so if, if it's a rainstorm, you can still open the windows. These blinds, this one and the one across from us, are controlled by a remote control, a little remote up here, that'll control the blinds so you can open the blinds up, close them, you name it. To put the bed away, just grab it, lift it up, it's going to lock into that uh, magnet back there, and then obviously if you if you need to take a nap down the road, you could put it like this and sleep on this. But you just press this button, and it's going to go back to the the couch. While I'm putting that up, you also have installed by Airstream at the factory a air ride system. Very rare in this type of Class C that you ever see one with a, an air ride system. Uh, Airstream does have that, and it is, it is in this coach. Up here, you got nice little storage with a light. Um, this is also going to be all your um, electronics for your, as far as like a DVD player to play on the TV behind you. You have a main control system right here that is a. Um, a firefly system that you can turn on all your master lights, you can see your tank levels, generator, individual lights, uh, your thermostat, whether it be your AC or your furnace. You got your slide out, your awning, your skylight above us, and the TV lift. Now, if this were to fail, don't freak out. And here you've got each individual one set. Uh, so you can, if for some reason that firefly system fails, you're still going to have your generator, your tank levels, your inverter, um, your, your equalizer um, system, as far as your stabilizers, your slide out, solar, and your power control system. This one is on the, uh, uh, the newer Mercedes, so you've got the Fusion bigger screen there. That's going to have all your DVD. Bluetooth, all that stuff for your, your phones. You're also going to have a video camera for your backup because there is obviously no seeing behind this coach without a camera. Um, the Tommy Bahama is also different from the regular Atlases because these seats have the little, little Marlin you can see. And they're very nice plush seats. These both turn around. So you can have those flipped around kind of join the party back here. You'll also have multiplex systems right here for your ceiling lights um, behind you. Well, we'll show you. This has a smart TV and a Bose sound bar built into it. So this is the TV's put away. I'm gonna press this button and this thing's gonna come up. So with the smart TV, if you want to, if you want to uh, stream like Hulu, Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, anything like that, hook up your uh, PlayStation. It's all there. I mean, the smart TV makes it nice and easy, and the Bose soundbar really makes it sound nice. That is a Samsung TV. Also, this kind of neat. It's a little built-in bar. You can put your wine glasses, rocks glasses, and then have your wine bottles or liquor bottles in here. And a little padded drawer there. Up here, some great storage on both sides. They stay up. 
And unlike most little RVs of this size, um, you can see it's all ducted. Everything is ducted up here. What makes that rare is uh, most of the um, other models in this class have the big AC unit sitting right here, so it's very loud. Airstream focuses on making this a quiet coach, so these make it very quiet when the, uh, when the AC is running. You've got a convection microwave oven. Thing. Cook, microwave, bake a cake. You got 11 cubic foot nor cold refrigerator. You guys would like to come out and have a bottle of water with me, feel free. You also have the freezer on the bottom side. Again, this is a 12 volt refrigerator, so it's not running off propane, it's not running off anything but the batteries. Um, but with the solar and the batteries they have on board, it's plenty to keep that refrigerator going. Over here, again, you got more of the wood blinds. These ones are the manual ones. The front two are the electronic ones. You got a beautiful stainless steel sink. And that Corian countertop here. You got a nice waste basket right there for your trash. Two burner cooktop. Doesn't even look like it's ever been used, to be honest. And then you got big drawers here that they're going to. That one obviously needs to be fixed. It's off its track. Big space under there. Get a little kick out to extend the countertop here. And again, all these drawers come all the way out. A couple of them need to be put back on track, I can see. One of the nice things about this motorhome too, with being the size it is, is this bathroom right here. Uh, most RVs this size do not have a full bath that this is. I'm uh, just over six feet tall and I can use this bathroom and stand in this shower with no issues at all. You see it's very attention to detail, the lights in the side. Uh, you got a fantastic fan above us. You've got a Now that, got some more storage up here. And again, all ducted for your heat and for your AC. You got cedar lined closets back here. And these are the table legs. I mean, the attention to detail. Most RV uh, companies will take this leg and just throw it in there. Well, when you got an aluminum leg going up against another aluminum leg, it's gonna make a lot of noise. These are nice, have their own little carrying things. You got a beautiful, see if I can get you in here. It's small back here, but in here you got a uh, beautiful closet um, and you can put shelves at different lengths in here. So if you needed your shirts to here, you can stack up jeans or whatever down there. You got more Big storages here. There's the light in there. And these lights do, you can leave them on. They do have a sensor, so when, when you open them up, they will turn on. Right here, you've got your vanity. And the mirror, a little sink, and again, another multiplex system to control your all the lights in here, your water pump, um, your panel lights, and you can turn off all the lights with one master switch there. This coach has 23 gallons of fresh water on board. It has 31 gallons of gray water and 23 gallons of black. Put the TV lift down. It's got a propane tank with 9.8 gallons. Um, what is the fuel? Let's see, the fuel on this thing is 26.4 gallons of diesel. One thing we didn't check out when we were walking back, this is a skylight. So I've got it at the day or the night shades down. You open this up, you can open that skylight up. Um, if you'd like to enjoy it with the light up with the screens, you can open this, put the screen down so you can have it in the middle of summertime without bugs getting in here. All the lights in this coach are LED, so they don't have any heat coming off or very, very, very little heat. 
Um, what else we got? We got a, ma a master battery disconnect right here. And you also have a TV lift button right here. So it's on all the multiplex systems and you have a TV lift button right here. The step hold button is on and off. That will, if you're at a campground, that'll prevent the, the steps from going in and out every time you enter and exit the coach. You just turn it off and it'll stay out in the, in the out position. So that is our 2019 Tommy Bahama edition Airstream Atlas, guys. Um, industry's crazy right now. This won't last long. So if you have any questions, this literally just got here within the last few days, give me a shout, 970-301-3736, or send me an email and I can email you that original uh, spec sheet at todd.thornton, T-H-O-R-N-T-O-N, at transwest.com. Or like I said, give me a call on my cell phone anytime. This won't last long. Let's make it yours. So thanks for joining us, and we'll uh, check you out next time. Thanks, guys.